Today, Rochester Mayor Lovely Warren released her official resignation letter one day after revealing she would step down from her office. The move is part of a plea deal regarding campaign finance fraud charges she faced. Political and religious leaders reacting today and those we spoke with saying the move was the right one for her family and the community. Christian Garzone joins us live now with more. Christian, what can you tell us? Well, John Alley, the common theme with leaders today was it's time to move forward. Reverend Lewis Stewart, a giant in the faith community who knows Mayor Warren, says, sure, mistakes were made, but ultimately she did some very positive things that will last in this city for a long time. Others said she made the right choice stepping down, but right now there are some very serious issues our city's facing that we need to focus on. Stewart said during her tenure, Mayor Warren got a lot done. But he says missteps were made regarding the Daniel Prude investigation and 2017 campaign funds. When it comes to the gun charges and endangering the welfare of a child, he says those charges were political in nature and bogus. In her resignation letter, the mayor focused on her accomplishments and her faith. The judge of her tenure, she says, will be history. She says, she says the choice to step down was for her daughter and her family. Assemblyman Harry Bronson said the mayor made the right choice for the city. He called the series of events a sad saga and is now eager to see what fresh leadership will bring. Our problems as a city not going away. I'm hopeful that uh, the next administration uh, can tackle the various issues that our families are facing, uh, you know, poverty, um, the amount of violence in our city, um, illegal gun use in our cities, uh, the fact that we have families who uh, are not getting access to nutrition and health care. I am praying for the mayor and her family, and I want to say that I will support Jim Smith and the presumptive mayor, Malik Evans, just as I supported her. They will have my full support. Now, the mayor handed in a resignation letter yesterday. Again, she's due to step down before December 1st. Live in Rochester, Christian Garzon, News 8. John Ellie, back to you. Thank you, Christian. And we also spoke to New York Congressman Joe Morelli today, who said he's been in talks with presumptive Mayor Malik Evans. Morelli also echoing that this was the right move for Mayor Warren and said he's confident local leaders are able to move forward. I speak with the, uh, the mayor presumptive. Um, you know, quite often I talked to him last week, so we're all uh, trying to get on the same page. And so I'm very optimistic. I, I talk to the county executive, uh, if not on a daily basis, uh, certainly several times a week. So I really feel like the leadership in this community is coming together, wanting to work together. We have responsibilities and we have obligations we can't stop. Um, and, and frankly, as I said, I'm really optimistic about the future. Warren is not stepping down until December, with Evans presumably not taking on the role until January. Now, in the meantime, Deputy Chief James Smith will be stepping in to oversee the office until Evans is sworn in. Smith has held the position since 2019, and according to the City of Rochester website, came into the role after serving as a county manager in Seneca County. Smith also served as a Greece town councilman from 1998 to 2006. Now for all the latest on the mayor's resignation, including the full resignation letter, you can head over to our website, rochesterfirst.com.